All right, so my first favorite new feature of this release is the smart previews or are the smart previews. And basically what Adobe did was they decoupled the necessity of having the original raw file available uh, in order for you to do certain edits or play with the image beyond just sort of looking at a preview. So I'm gonna demonstrate that. I have here an external drive that I'm going to plug into my Mac right now. So I'm plugging this in and uh, then we're gonna import some files and immediately you're gonna notice what the main difference is when you, uh, when you take a look at this. So what I'll do is I'll go to, let's go to uh, file, I'm gonna import. And here we are. So let me select the source, which is just my little Lexar drive here. And here are, some, here are four files on here that we're gonna play with for this demo. So the main thing to know is when you do this, nothing really has changed. That's one of the cool things about what Adobe does when they, uh, when they update software, is they don't make a whole lot of radical changes to the UI so that you have to relearn everything. They typically do very elegant, targeted changes that just make sense. And in this case, they added this guy here, um, the smart, build smart previews checkbox. So with that unchecked, Lightroom is going to behave just the way it did in Lightroom 4. It's going to import the files or, you know, whether, whatever you decide you want to do. You want to copy, you want to move, add, all that, that sort of thing um, into the library. But if you click build smart previews, what it's going to do is it is going to maintain a link to that original file. If even if the the volume where these files live is no longer available. So in this case, I'm going to add these to my catalog and I'm going to build smart previews. So what's going to happen, it's going to add these photos to the catalog, but it's going to leave them on my external drive. Um, and I'll be working with the previews locally. What that gives me is kind of the best of both worlds, meaning I'll have the smaller versions of the files on my computer when I'm traveling and all that, but when I get back home and plug back in, I'll have access to the higher resolution files and then I can go ahead and do rendering and that sort of thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and click import of these and it's, uh, it's gonna import all those files in and build smart previews from them. And we'll just let that do its thing for a couple minutes. All right, and the Lightroom tells me smart previews were built already for existing of five photos. That's because I did that in preparation for this, uh, this recording. But if I click OK, that's done, right? So now what I'm going to do is take a look at these images. Yeah, look at that one. That's kind of cool. Look at this one. This is how you'd normally do it. But now I'm going to get rid of that drive that's plugged in. So I'm just going to eject the drive. Okay, the drive is unplugged from my computer and now you see this icon on all the images saying that now I'm looking at the smart preview for these images. The cool thing is when I go look at these images now, if I double click it, I can go into the develop module now. All right, so I'm gonna click develop. Now I'm in the develop module for this smart preview and look at all my controls, they're still there. I can still do all my fun things to this image on a smaller version of the image. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Cool thing is when I get back and I plug in the main image where the raw files live, it will apply all of my changes to the, uh, to the main image. So kind of best of both worlds again. And you'll see up here indicated that I'm looking at a smart preview. It's telling me that the original is offline, but this photo can still be edited. Love, love, love that feature. Thank you, Adobe.